review. Dun dun dun. It's a widow. It's a spider whore. Okay, so, pow, let's say this. This is SSJ3500. 2600 SR, Widowmaker, Eichenwald. Uh, we didn't see what type of game he was in. Diamond, Diamond. Oh, I guess you could keep that, so you don't actually know what the SR ranking is. So, we'll just assume it's around 2600. Uh oh. SSJ is in chat, guys. This man is in chat. That means when he messes up, make fun of him. Laugh at him. Make him feel like crap. Love you, SSJ. Interesting. Uh, I would actually prioritize trying to shoot someone over throwing out that mine. Okay. Now, this is your Smurf account, right? Right, this is your Smurf account. What's your actual rating? All right, good. I like this. Uh, this is really good. What she does is you blind yourself from a direction and you just take this out of the picture. You're like, screw it. I just want to focus on this. Uh, this is good. This is good positioning. So this is this is what I talk about when there's good positioning and it leads to good action, right? This is good positioning and now he has to be less skilled in action. Why does he have to be less skilled? One, cuz he's looking down this nor narrow corridor, right? People are just going to be shooting or he's going to be shooting people in this area. Also, he's not going to get attacked from this side. Uh it just makes life easier. He can focus on shooting, which essentially lowers the necessary skill for doing this. Right, Widow's all about angles. Which is why I say she's directly related to Junkrat. Uh, they have the, Widow and Junkrat have near the same mindset. Oh shit. This is good positioning. Okay. Maybe take a little bit more time to aim. That that'd be my only I mean, I like how you're shooting constantly. I like that. Too many people, like, wait four seconds to take one shot. I like how you're just like, fuck it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yeah, I like this so far. Uh, actually, I would say the most common problem with playing Widow at low levels is people don't shoot enough. 
At least from what I've seen. I could be completely wrong. You're playing a good peekaboo game with this hog. There you go. Good job. Yeah, that guy's super out of... Alright, he just jumped off. That's cool. Oh, yeah, probably booped off. High ground. Doing good. That guy's... He definitely doesn't respect you. Say that much. Yeah, maybe a shot in his ass will make him respect you. Maybe it won't. There you go. That, that's the prime. Right there, that's Widow 101. How to get away from someone when you're on the high ground. Good shot. Your team cap? Are you going to have to do the walk of shame? No, you won't. Good job. Good job, team. I hate that walk. Oh, God. That's a boostio. You run, run. Boostios just kill everyone. So far, you're doing really well. I hear a widow to your right. I heard some tiptoes or some high heels. Are they running a counter widow? Are those your own heels? Is that what's? I don't know how how you can how people can stand playing widow if that's how loud your footsteps are the whole time. That was that was pretty good. I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah, Mercy has heals, Pharah has heals, Mini Diva has heals, and Widow has heals. And there are most of them, uh, Fer Widow is the loudest, by far. But yeah, Mercy has pretty loud footsteps as well. Diva, uh, a little bit less. Stop watching. What are we watching? We can fast forward this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Oh, here comes, here comes the trick shot. Oh, you got him. I mean, you hit him. That works. Uh oh, someone that tries disagrees because he had zero headshots and not a single pick. You, my friend, don't understand Overwatch, then. Good job. Took out, the, took out the Pharah. So, if I don't care about picks as Widow, what do you care about? Uh, suppressing. Widow's verb is to suppress. Your job is to make people hate standing in open ground. Wh either if you do or don't get a kill. Now, if you get a kill, it's a lot more effective. People are just terrified of you. Good shot. So, you need to make people afraid to walk into open ground. And through that, you can do area denial, which is all based on positioning. Good shot.
What is Junkrat's verb? Uh, it is to, um, oh, what is it? To break. Oh, that was looking so nice. Good job. You're doing, you're doing a good... You're just dealing a great amount of work here. Uh, the fact that people will stop peeking... And stop standing in open ground is the unseen effect of Widow. It is the threat of Widow that is really, really strong. Jesus Christ. Good job. Ah, I gotcha. That was a really good run, though. You, you did a lot of work on that first point. Get on the objective. Heroes never die. So yeah, Widow is about suppressing. That's that's what Widow's all about. Uh, suppressing meaning to get information from. Suppressing as in to control. Just think about suppressing and uh, all of its synonyms and what it truly means to suppress. That is Widow's prime job. Uh, getting kills is a secondary. It is an uh, effect that comes from suppression. Yeah. Keep that bitch out of the air. This is great. So here's the thing. And this is why widows have to be skilled. And you're like, well, what, what do you mean, Crow? What if a widow, like, they, don't they have to be skilled? No, they don't. Um, even bad widows can exert pressure. But if you can call their bluff, uh, then they have to respect you. Uh, meaning when they go into open ground, you shoot them in the face. Uh, it... If you get a couple kills, you should be able to start forcing people. Like, I'm really surprised this Pharaoh keeps doing this. Soldier's really close. Shot. Hey, dude, you're doing really good. I think that Pharaoh went Winston. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Hmm. Well, that's what you get for me. It Okay, I was about to say, yeah, sitting in the middle in the open is quite greedy. Yeah, there's not much you can do. You can get out. Oh, what a long range grapple. Alright, good. Grapple as soon as the monkey jumps. That uh, sucks, but... Yeah, as soon as somebody uses their movement modifier on you, that's when you gotta get away. Now 
All right, so we're going to OT. Mm. So yeah, uh, I think you called their bluff. I I'm really surprised that they're not hiding their heads more. But you definitely, straight up, did a significant amount of damage uh, on point two. Well, well, point one, mostly. Point two, you got them pretty good at the first part. Uh, you shut the Pharaoh down, she had to change class. That's cool. Uh, the problem is Winston is still really good. Like it's, he's just a good character. But as long as you're suppressing the team down from taking large uh, movements, I, I think you're doing your job as Widow. Ah, timing's overrated. Uh, so far, your positioning has been pretty well. Pr pretty well done. I think you're mad at yourself for that. Okay, good. Hopefully they stop attacking the main path. I have the Reinhardt shield again. Bastion died. That that was. Now they're gonna quickly go to the right to watch. Yep. Notice that. Good, good, good. You keep creating ground. You did what you could do. Uh, it was good that you kept on trying to create space, more and more space, over and over and over. Uh, that's what we want to do. Keep on taking pot shots, create distance, make things a lot, uh, just difficult for them to engage on you. Do I aim with my wrist? Uh, I aim with my fingers. I use the tendons and ligaments pretty much solely in my thumb to aim. to get that pick actually because Reinhardt I think he was looking at you the entire time wasn't he hold on I just want to see Reinhardt's attention yeah I mean he had to deal with the whole team How does that work? How does what work? Oh, with my, my sensitivity? Oh, this grapple. And now what you can do there. You're running three tanks? Hog, Diva, Ryan? Yep. It's very difficult. Widow can work against tanks. Tanks one week, well, one week, 
a tank's main weakness is range. Uh, the problem is, is Eichenwald is quite a closed down map. So if you can take advantage of the range, but you, you really can't, everything's pretty closed down in on this map. I should play Widow with that sensitivity? I can. I mean, I played Quake. I mean, I I was good with the railgun in Quake with that sensitivity. Shot. All right, you got the soldier. How big of a res was that? Yeah, you're you're quite close there. Good shot. Okay, good. You're taking up space. Or you're taking... Creating space, I should say. Walk away from that, that's for sure. Oh, the old telephone pole. That sucks. Oh, this... Yeah, I stream in better than 1080p just because we're watching a video right now. Can you guys pull it through? Uh, nope. You lost a lot there. So this is... Tanks are very difficult if you can't create space. Uh, tanks are really, really good at shutting down small amounts of area. And that's what kind of bit you in the ass in that one. Who got play of the game? Reinhardt, lame. Lame! Let's see it. Okay, that's what you do. So, how do you feel about support SR right now? I don't know what you mean. Supports are good. Oh wait, no, I don't stream in 8, 1080. I scale it down to 720? I think that's my settings. Now I'm curious. Yeah, I scale it down to 720. Uh, I tried to stream in eight, uh, 1080 before, and it, just, it wasn't reliable, and the quality was terrible. So, with Widow, everyone thinks it's all about action, right? This is what I think every top 500, I think every guy that really doesn't understand Widow will say Widow is about. Like, oh, Widow's all about skill. Can you shoot someone in the head or not? And that's just, it couldn't be far, it, I'm not going to say it couldn't be farther from the truth, but it's definitely not the truth. Uh, if that was the case, if anyone wants to watch a game, it's on my my YouTube, it's on Kepri's YouTube. Uh, Kepri squares off one-on-one -on -one against the bot. The bot was on my team. Uh, Kepri, uh, this Widow was 20, for the record, people, yeah, we should just take a second to talk about that. This this widow was twenty six hundred. Like that, phenomenal, straight up phenomenal job for twenty six hundred. But how does so? Here's the thing. How does Kepri, a, a man, who, very good widow, beat a bot who has better skill than him? Right. But you can't. You can't get better skill than a bot, technically. At least pointing and clicking, accuracy-wise. No, nothing's better. There is nothing better in the game than something that is designed to do that exactly at a 100% hit rate. So if you have accuracy up here, how do you win? Right? 
Game sense, game mechanics, positioning. Correct, champ. One hundred percent. This. And this is why I say Widow is not about accuracy. Because what makes a good Widow a great Widow is everything but accuracy. Right? It's about positioning. First of all, everything's about positioning. If someone says to you it's not about positioning, well, tell them they're in the wrong position. Right? Because it is about position. Uh, the way... Kevry beat that Widow was simply outmaneuvering him, right? His positioning was superb, crushed him. Uh, the next reviews will be tomorrow. And he does that, like I said, so, so he does it through positioning. And, and to get, to have good positioning, well, you have to get there correctly. And first of all, everything has to be based on information. So you want to get some information together, you create a goal, yeah, that's your position, and right. then you get to that goal through the logistics layer. That's how, that's how this works. Uh, so Widow is all about positioning. And most of the time, uh, Mr. SSJ3500 had good positioning. Uh, I noted the one time when he first started attacking that point one, I was like, look, he's lining up his shots through this very small corridor. Uh, essentially, he made a choke point in the map that didn't technically exist as a choke point, and he was reducing the chances of getting shot by removing his right flank. Now, while he can't shoot the right flank, he didn't need to, right? It was just protecting his side. Uh, that's what I talk about good positioning. Uh, his positioning was, I think, in a lot of the circumstances, uh, once you started getting on the back foot on defense, that's when positioning gets difficult. And that's when you start separating the good players from the great ones. Uh, there is no point in being good as a class when it's good. What I mean by that is that if you can only play Pharah when there's no hit scans in the game, you're not a good Pharah. Um, right, there's just no, there's no glory in that. There's nothing to be said for that. And I know that goes against everything Blizzard says about Overwatch. Where they say, pick the strongest character for the situation. Well, that's shit. That means you're going to be shit at every character because you're only going to be able to play them when they're strong. You need to be able to play a character when it's weak. In fact, you need to play a character when it's weakest. And if you can survive during that, everything lands in place. Like, you'll be so good. Um, I keep on bringing up Kepri just because he's a good Widow and he streams a lot. Uh, watch him play Widow and his way of dealing with Genji's, Tracers, and Winston's. Probably Winston's most importantly. Uh, these are the things you need to focus on. Don't focus on his ability to land headshots, right? You can't, you can't copy that. You can't just steal that. But you can steal his tactics. from. You can steal his positioning, his logistics, and his information. These are things that are stealable. Uh, accuracy, that comes from skill. Un it's not possible to steal that. You can try to mimic it, but that's it. He runs. Yeah, that's actually what... And he does the same thing Junkrat does. Uh, when someone engages you, your job is, to, one, make sure they burn their movement modifier. Two, if you can juke to the low ground and they follow you to the low ground, then you go to the high ground. That's exactly what I do as Junkrat. I'll fight people and I'll disengage. Instead of with grapple, I'll do it with a remote mine. I'll push them back this way, I'll go this way. And then I start fighting them from long range again. Uh, this is what you do as Widow. You try to keep this space. This is, you try to keep this space. Uh, I do that as Junkrat. Uh, but as Junkrat, I have the option of going close range. And then very far range kind of works, but it definitely drops off. But I have these options. Uh, the guy that just... Uh, Mr. Wet Butt Bandit. Uh, the guy that talked two spaces above you. SJ3500 was the, the widow we just watched. So yeah, I, this is the defensive traits of Widow and Junkrat are kind of the same. They they apply them differently, but it's the same thing. You want to keep distance. Uh, you want to make people. You want to punish people that jump on you by creating more distance. You run. It works, man. Run with confidence. Uh, Assassin SR for supports are broken right now. Eh, whatever. It's just a game.
you'll win. It's about getting better. It's not about winning. So, Widow's positioning is good. Uh, he, he kept the appropriate amount of distance to give him the greatest chance of hitting. As soon as anyone encroached on him, he created distance and then kept shooting him. Uh, a couple times, like, he didn't really have the option, but he still made some pretty, pretty good shots. Uh, you know, you, you can just shoot as Widow. You don't always have to be zoomed in. Like, you, you have some options. Uh, his grappling away was good. He did that a couple against, uh, against like three or four people. So he was, he was doing things well. Um, and this scrambling is probably the most important part that you can get. Uh, logistics is funny with Widow, because it's like, well, how do you get to your good position? Uh, since position changes with time, you have to be agile with your, your positioning. Because anyone can get to, like, a really good sniping spot and stay there. It's how you deal with your threats when you get to that spot. Which, I believe, Mr. 3500 did quite well. Uh, he did the old rope-a-dope right here. Uh, when anyone engages you on the high ground with a movement ability, jump down to the low ground. They jump down to the low ground, grapple back up. Uh, that's the best way to buy yourself, like, five to eight seconds. Uh, also about position, you're also looking for angles. Uh, I will mention Kepri again. Kepri, like, shoots through windows, like, this big. Um, most people need bigger windows than that. Like, they need actual hallways to shoot people down. Like, crack sniping is difficult. If you're good at it, fuck. Like, do it. Uh, it allow it opens up the map to you. But, yeah, make sure you get uh, some kills. And a Widow needs to get some kills or deal a lot of damage. I know there was talk in the channel about, uh, trash damage with Widow. Like, always shoot the head, don't shoot the body. That's complete bullshit. Um... You can get so much damage done. You can assist with so many kills if you get body shots. There's been, you cripple someone. If you do 120 damage to someone, they're pretty much crippled. Uh, anyone with 200 health, if they don't get healed right away, they're going to die to one to two shots from anyone after that. Yeah, don't worry about the body shots. Body shot works. Uh, just make sure your team is there in a position to follow up on it. Like, you're not just body shotting random people just to body shot them. Uh, losing 120 hit points out of nowhere really quickly, it it'll catch most people off guard. Uh, your logistics was fine, dude. Like, you're doing fine. And also, you we usually start with accuracy. Your accuracy was fucking dope, dude. You're really good. Uh, you're doing great for 2800, wherever you're at. Uh, your skill usage was also fine. Your positioning was good. Uh, logistically, you were you were fine. You were getting to where you needed to, and you also were getting away when you needed to get away. Uh, Information-wise, you were good. I think you're doing the correct thing against the correct threats at the time that you knew about. As soon as they ran a Winston, uh, you were in a little bit of trouble, but that was actually not much of the game. I think you died... Three or four times after they switched to Winston. Right, you shut the Pharaoh down. For characters without any mobility, how do you create space when someone engages? You can't. You, you just can't. Um, you have to fight your way out of it. So, SJ says, Last few weeks I started putting fully charged shots into shields when no one is peeking, or if we lacked any shield breaking damage. Is that the right decision? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have nothing else to do, then yeah, shoot a shield. Why not? If nothing else, you reset the cooldown that it takes for it to get its health back. Uh, I think you played really well. In fact, I think you did amazingly well. And don't allow, don't let anyone, those people that are saying trash damage or don't do take body shots, yada, 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 don't fucking listen to them. Don't listen to them. My god, they're just dumb. Fucking dumb. Uh, you're doing really, really well. You hit a lot of headshots. Uh, your main thing, and I think this actually backfires at low SRs, is that uh, no one was afraid of you. Uh, a good widow usually strikes fear into people, and they stop. Like, it really affects the movement, right? You suppress. You lay down. 
suppressive fire. You take options away from people. Uh, usually you force people to stay behind the shield, or you force people to go through choke, like small choke points instead of main pathways, stuff like that. Uh, they kept on doing the same shit, no matter what you did, which is hilarious. Um, it's a first world problem. Or it's a second world problem. It's a low SR problem, like, they should be better and respect you more. Even though they won, they still won doing the wrong thing. And they will not climb higher if they ever run into a really good Widow. Because a, a, a Widow that's better than you will shut them down even harder. But what can we work on? The bread and the butter of widow is this getting away getting away and surviving when you shouldn't be able to get away and survive most people will say accuracy is the bread and butter and widow and yeah it's important but in overwatch it's really easy to counter specific heroes and i say counter i hate i hate saying counter it's a shitty word widow has a lot of rough matchups you have to play out of your mind to be a good widow you usually have to be like two to three times skillier. You have to be a lot better than people to play Widow. Uh, but if you do beat them in Overwatch, dude, there's not a fucking thing they can do. Like, there, there is nothing they can do if a good Widow shuts down like a Winston. Uh, you have no prayer in the game. So you need to focus on your escape method and how to deal with pressure. I think you're on the right track. I think what you're doing is correct. So for someone like this, is there anything they can, they, anything drastic they can improve to keep climbing? Or is it mostly teammates? On this one, I can't really like tell uh, 3500 to get better at certain things. Uh, if, he, if he wants to keep playing Widow, right? If he wants to like always play Widow, uh, over time his accuracy will get up and this, this will carry him a lot farther. Uh, but surviving more is what's going to give him the ability to make take more shots and kill more people. So it's it's always positionally based. And so he needs to be able to deal with aggression. And you're good at the rope dope At least from what I've seen, the, the rope dope is is quite good, right? Someone engages on you, you jump down to low ground, they jump down to low ground. You jump back up to high ground, you take a couple of pot shots. Uh, the tricky thing is when you rotate into people. Uh, that will take time, and it will take patience, and you're going to fuck up a lot. But sometimes, just like with Tracer and just like Junkrat, any other hero, sometimes the safest place is actually deeper in. Uh, and you essentially, while everyone jumps onto the point, you kind of jump to where they were at. Uh, and then you take pot shots from there. You just have to remember it's only very briefly because reinforcements are coming when they die from spawn. Uh, but yeah, definitely learn to deal with your threats more than anything else. Now, how do you do that? Well, you have to get attacked by your threats, which if you keep doing pretty well, like you're going to meet Winston's a lot more often. You're going to meet Tracers and Genji's. Like, do you get that problem right now, 3500? You see a lot of counters come out when you start winning. I'll see you in chat. Still around? I don't see him. That's strange. He left. That son of a bitch! So, he must have left or went to the bathroom or something, but... We'll see. Um, yeah, definitely learn to deal with your threat. Uh, keep creating space. You did it really well at this last point. Where's my, where's my tab?
Yeah, right here. You, this is when. So this is a good. This is good and bad, but this is this was your decision. It was fine. So you slowly start creating space. Start creating space, and you keep on backing up. Take a shot. Back up. Take a shot. Back up. Take a shot. Back up. Right. That's. That method is what you have to do when you don't have a grapple, right? You, that's that's all you can do. Uh. But one of the crazy things that you can do, I guess it wouldn't have worked here because they were really engaged on you. And this comes down to timing. Man, that was a good shot. Sometimes going deeper in is safer. But that time they had people on all flanks. That was actually quite difficult. They had, they had a really good web spread out. Am I going to play Magic tonight? No, it's user review day. Look at the title. Look at the title, people. Ah, timing's overrated. I think most games I play Widow, I'll at least get someone to switch to Genji, Winston, or Diva. Okay. Maybe get advice on where to put focus versus a three tank as Widow. Okay, so three tank. So tanks are really good at holding small areas. This is what tanks do. Now they hold... Now they hold this through damage mitigation. Or through fear. So, tanks are really good in small areas, and the problem Eichenwald is mostly a small area map. Uh, they can usually hold cover until Winston or Diva can just use their movement ability to get towards you. Uh, what you have to do is you have to punish this mistake, and you have to help. You have to get help from your team, right? As soon as a tank engages on you, Winston or Diva, you need to back up. And since they engage from, like, let's say a choke point, your team has to punish this. And what this does is it then it allows you space. Uh, if everyone's hiding behind the Winston or the Reinhardt shield, they keep the pressure on the Rein, uh, Rein shield constantly. Anytime he puts it down, put a bullet into him. Uh, force him to stay it up. And through that, you can break down the shield more. Uh, basically, you need to have a constant pressure forward. You have to have this constant threat for either people, A, to just dodge you, like just not be where you're at, like hiding behind buildings, or keeping the shield up constantly so it falls uh, very quickly. And then if anything is in open space, kill it. Shoot it. That's your job as suppressing. Uh, this is why... I you know, being accurate is helpful, is if you shoot someone in the face once, usually the team goes, shit, they got a Widow, and he's good. Uh, you really need that. You need to get one or two kills, and you need to put the fear of God in them. Uh, but it, it's... When dealing with bad matchups, it's really difficult to win it yourself. Like, against a Winston, it, that's a tough thing to win. Uh, I've seen it won before, but to do it consecutively every time is a low percent chance. Uh, to get that percent chance up, you need your teammates, right? It's just an unfortunate matchup that you have to deal with. If you can take a pot shot on them, get away, allow someone else to take your place, to deal damage to them, to make them back up, uh, you can do it. But just to sit there and 1v1 them, you, you can win it. Yes, I'm going to say that every now and then you can win it, but it's not something you can count on. All right, Gohan, see ya. But if you can take a shot at the shield, and if anyone is peeking, uh, take a shot on them. That's where you want to put your damage against the three tank lineup. Uh, you want to put pressure on this until one of the tanks finally does come around the corner and jump on you. And then you want your team of all six to kill this one guy that's overextending. That's your job. This is the matchup you have to win. As soon as you win this and their uh, mobile tank has been killed, 
then they can put pressure, and the Reinhardt has no ability to, to defend himself because if he ever drops the shield, he gets shot or his allies get shot. Uh, hopefully, they put the pressure, they have to step back, and you now you start gaining ground. As soon as the defense, sorry, I'm going to draw over here now. Let's say this was Eichenwald. You have that building in the middle. As soon as this Reinhardt here starts dropping back, then flanks open. As the defensive as defensive people move back, flanks open. Now you can get around them this way. Now the Reinhardt shield has to either go this way or this way, and you can get more shots on, right? These give you options for you to shoot as Widow. So, But it's this constant pressure that you're putting on the entire map, right? You're, the whole time, you're putting on pressure. If you're down here on Eichenwald, here's that choke point. If you sit on top of this, I mean, like, this to this should feel pressure. Right? And this should all be your team's territory now. And your team has to eat up this area that you've given them. Right? This area is null. It doesn't belong to anyone. But then your team moves up. And then you start taking it. Then your team moves here. Now you can start inching area. Right? That's when you start sitting here. And you force them to sit, like, over here. Right? And you start getting these inches of area. Uh, that's what I do as Junkrat, actually. This is identical to do what I do as Junkrat. Junkrat. Uh, as I push people back, I start just taking off bits of area, and I push them back, 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 until they're in a corner, and then I rain hell on top of them, because they're in such a closed-in area, as my team is pushing forward. But I need that team to push forward to keep the pressure on. Uh, Widow does this exact same thing. Uh, I can show you on King's Row. King's Row is a really good example. The enemy goes 3-4 tanks against Widow. Should he switch to Reaper? I would... Okay, look. If this was a 66 tournament game and you could win $20,000, I would say get the fuck off Widow if they're running 3 tanks. Um, at least if it's a closed-in map. If they're running 3 tanks on this map, you can still fight it as Widow. But 3 tanks, like, in this phase will be tough, and 3 tanks in this one will be tough for Widow. But with Widow, like, first you get here. And you take this area away from them, right? You force them back in this corner. Maybe if this shield up, maybe you can punish that shield. Uh, your next spot is here or here. And if you notice, like, you just start cutting off more and more area, right? You want to stick the team right here. If a team lets themselves get pushed into this area, they're dead. This is how you can win with Widow without killing anyone. Um, you just force this area out. Right, so the blue area is where they have it first, and then they get, like, the yellow area, so, like, they, they just get down to here, and then they're just stuck only in the green area. Right, this is the suppression that you want to, you want to take the entire map away from them. And what really gives Widow the edge on King's Row is this range. Uh, like, most tanks can, like, reach here. That's Hog, that's Zarya, Reinhardt. Uh, D.Va and Winston you'll have to watch out for, but because they're so far back, if a Winston does jump here, he's so far out of position that team can kill him. How would you say this applies to Junkrat Widow on control maps? Uh, same deal. Uh, essentially what you do is you pick a side, and then you cleave towards the center. Uh, and now it's backwards in this one, right? So you pick the right side, and you shoot left, and then you slowly cut off choke point this way, right? Because they, they work backwards. You don't go left and kill left, and then go right. Uh, you stay right, you choke left, and you go right by going left. Uh, it's a weird idea. Uh, no, Widow shuts down area and King of the Hill maps just the same. It, it's identical, actually. Uh, King of the Hill maps will work the same way, but it's kind of like this area here is the point, right? And the other team's on the other side. You just, you just treat it a little bit differently. But Widow is about suppressing area. It's not about... Getting kills is... An effect of suppression.
And also, when I, when I showed you guys what I meant by suppressing, I, sh I threw a towel over um, a bar stool. Fuck it, I'll just get the bar stool. Hold on. Hold on. I stool. Yeah, you can see this. So this is what I said. This is Widow. This is what Widow does. That's what Widow does. This is suppressing. She's suppressing the, the bar stool. So let's say there's like a Reinhardt, right? A pack of batteries. Right? She does the same goddamn thing. You suppress it, and through suppressing, if the suppression is poor, it looks like this. You're like, ah. Well, you don't know what the fuck's under there. You don't know what's going on. But with su proper suppression, you can clearly see there's something there now. A good widow is going to know something is there, right? And if if this is empty, if this is if there's nothing here, I can tell you what. If this was a over game of Overwatch, I know no one's here. That means someone's either here or here, right? Someone's not in this area. This is suppression. And also, I always said like. You have to remember suppression's this, and it's also, like, choking a fucking child. Like, this is suppression. You are suppressing violently, but it's still suppression. But you gotta remember, this is suppression as well. Uh, it can be anywhere from, like, ultra-violent to not violent, right? But yeah, you can fucking suppress shit like this. You're just like, ah, get out of your bar stool. Like that. Suppress the shit out of it. So yeah. Russian. Right? You gotta, you have to understand that suppression is more than just like keeping people away. Uh, because you suppress this area, you know everyone's here, right? Or if they're not here, they're in this room. Or maybe they're right back here, but you're going to know exactly where they're at. You may not see them, but this, uh, what do you call this? Damn it, if I was talking about DNS, I'd call it negative cache. Uh, this negative space, let's call it. Uh, this negative space, you know people are here. You don't know it, but I mean, you know it, but you don't know it. Uh, just by suppressing the area. And again, suppression, maybe just taking this target out. Right, kill him. Suppressed. Um, yeah, suppression is what you do. And by taking away area, Widow does it the greatest in the game uh, by sheer volume. Uh, she's the greatest. Second to Widow is Hog. Hog takes area, but it's like that small of an area, right? Through fear of death with Hook, he suppresses a, a pretty good area. Actually, Roadhog's violent at it. Uh, I, I consider Ro Roadhog's verb to be to take. Uh, he just takes what he wants. You guys keep posting diva links? Yeah, th the bot does not like it when you say the dot the. Uh, she th Nightbot thinks it's a link. You you'll, you'll get banned for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the sheer volume of Widow, which she suppresses, is, 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 is simply untouched by any character in the game. This is the only character that can, like, deny all this open ground with ease. Can I show you, uh, Junkrat's... Yeah, no, no, Junkrat, I actually have a video of it. It's on YouTube. Uh, if you really wanted to watch it, hold on. For the critique. I think I go off the, the hinge a little bit.
Then where is it at? I can show you guys what I'm going through. I'm going through my video. Uh, I did the exact same thing. This is where I talk about damage mitigation and how tanks work, how when you fall back on defense, you, re you, um, you show flanks. Here's that fucking copyrighted video. I gotta yell at those fuckers. Man, I want to find that video for you guys because I do the exact like identical talk on King's Row with Junkrat. And as soon as they're stuck with farther, here it is. I think I go off the fucking edge though. I may start getting really excited. And I'm like, do you know exactly where your primary fire will hit as Junkrat? You bet your goddamn ass I will. I do go off. I do a little. I do a little crazy. If you don't think when I'm here, here's King's Row secret, guys. When I play King's Row. This is what I do. I follow this outside edge. I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go fucking off Why? right now. Because I have no fall off. Good point, fall Crow. Fall off. Zero. zero. I knew it. God. I stay at the farthest distance I'm allowed to do my job. If you think my shots that go right here past this, whoop, whoop, that they go right past this tree, right past this wall, into this sweet ass spot right here. If you don't think I've calculated that, because their supports are right here and right here, because this gives them the correct line of sight yeah. to help the Reinhardt that's right here, Preacher you're Crow. fucking fooling yourself. Yeah. If you, if you guys really think I'm just spamming, you're fucking nuts. Yeah, fucking nuts. I will crush the supports every single time. And as they're getting hit with this, I start moving over here, I start hitting this line, and then I start hitting this line. Oh, man. Why? Once I hit here, they're going to fall back. Reinhardt's going to be here like this. What does this do with their supports? Pushes them back a little bit farther because they want to be at the farthest distance they can do their job while still maintaining line of sight. Fucking tell it like Before it is. I hit, it hits them still. What happens when my team pushes them back even more because their supports are getting hit as well? They fall back even farther. Guess what? I have made the map into a choke point. Right? Genius. How? This is a lane. I have used the map position to my advantage. Yeah! I've made a choke point where no one else knows there's a choke point, and I can easily hit them with Junkrat. This Pow. is why my accuracy is good with Junkrat. Pow! Right there. Uh, it's called Informal Talk and Apply Theory and Attacking Through Position. If you want to watch the whole hour video. I go off a little bit, though. I think I get really pissed and I start screaming. And that movement is for Widow too, yes, because of course it's for Widow. It's because I focus on the fundamentals of Overwatch. Oh god, upside down triangle, crazy. Because uh, I focus on the fundamentals of Overwatch, I don't focus on the... Everyone looks at this, they just look at skill, and they look at hero skill. Hero specific skill, and it's all bullshit. Overwatch is played from positioning to information, and that's it. Like, that's, this is why I see everyone, I see most people's ideas on Overwatch is just very rudimentary. They just focus on, oh, what hero is it? What does that hero do? Oh, then do it well. Like, ah, it's bullshit. It's how you, it's how you use the hero. In which way? But yeah. You'll be surprised because I talk about taking away ground and how I do it, that this idea works for most classes. I, th I think this, I, I would actually play this way on most heroes. Uh, I think the range would change, but I would do the exact same thing. As a hog, I would threaten here, and as they got pushed back, I may go around this way, but I'd probably hold here. I'd try to push them back to this point. From here, I would just kind of go like this, try to get the hook, would push them back to here. Like, I would just eat area. I would try to take area. Um, that's all I care about when I play Overwatch, is denying the team area and taking more area. Uh, that's just, that's my, that's my perspective on gaming. Uh, that's how I do it. 
It's all about positioning. It's all about area denial. And that's how I played Quake. That's how I played Overwatch. That's how I played Civilization. That's how I play Red Alert. I played StarCraft Brood War, StarCraft 2, Warcraft 3, Dota. Uh, you name it, that's how I play every game. 